Science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. When we recognize our place in an immensity of light years and in the passage of ages, when we grasp the intricacy, beauty, and subtlety of life, then that soaring feeling, that sense of elation and humility combined, is surely spiritual. The notion that science and spirituality are somehow mutually exclusive does a disservice to both. Carl Sagan, if you go to bed at night without learning something new that day, your day is not complete. Luke Paquin, 1973 Philosophy Narcissism Philosophy Narcissism A growing body of evidence suggests that rates of narcissism are increasing. Narcissism describes a type of personality, which can manifest in a range of problematic behaviors and attitudes, such as arrogance, haughtiness, exhibitionism, self-centeredness, lack of empathy, racism, and an unreasonable sense of entitlement. The term cultural narcissism describes a cultural phenomenon whereby narcissistic values are inherent in cultural products, values, and practices. That is, narcissism involves a problematic lack of self-knowledge. I argue that narcissism is an obstacle to living a meaningful life and to social flourishing. Self-knowledge enables one to accurately identify and develop one's own interests and capabilities, as well as to identify one's limitations. People lacking in self-knowledge are more likely to pursue unrealistic goals and devote time to activities they are not genuinely interested in or capable of performing well. They pursue activities they believe will garner them status, attention, power, or admiration. The condition we call narcissism began when Nemesis made a handsome youth fall in love with his reflection in a fountain. The lovely maiden Echo was grief-stricken by Narcissus' self-absorption, and gradually pined away until only her voice remained. Narcissism today is not only a synonym for self-infatuation, it is the name for a clinical psychiatric disorder. In recent years, psychiatrists and psychotherapists have devoted much attention to narcissism. Patients are being diagnosed in increasing numbers as narcissistic, in part probably because of a heightened sensitivity to the phenomenon. Narcissism, from a psychological point of view, is an interesting thing. It bears unmistakable similarities to one philosophical position, solipsism. And from a general point of view, as I will try to show, psychological narcissism is descriptive both of certain aspects of personality of many philosophers, and of the nature of many of the positions they propound. Narcissism exists on a continuum that ranges from normal to abnormal personality expression. While many psychologists believe that a moderate degree of narcissism is normal and healthy in humans, there are also more extreme forms, observable particularly in people who are excessively self-absorbed, or who have a mental illness like Narcissistic Personality Disorder NPD, where the narcissistic tendency has become pathological leading to functional impairment and psychosocial disability.